Um, I understand that people have worked very hard over the um, tea break to come up with some agreed wording. So, yeah. So can we can we get that up onto the main screen? Yep. That's great. Okay. So, um, uh, do we have a mover for the recommendations? Yanni Johansson, seconded by. Uh, Paul Lonsdale. So, um, is there any um, discussion on that? Yanni. Thank you. Um, I, I think this is one of the most critical things we can do as a new council coming in, is to really have a good look at how SCUDA are operating and actually respond to the quarterly reports we get around our natural environmental recovery programme. Well, actually, it's not our programme, but it's a programme that we're, we're a member of and we're involved in. Because I actually think it's really important when we identify emerging issues, we don't just receive that information, we actually take action. So that's what these resolutions are doing. They're trying to give effect to the issues that have been raised and actually come up with a way in which we're actually doing something about them rather than just leaving them for another quarterly report to come and highlight the same thing. And I take, take the example of asbestos, and you know this was raised with us several months ago, and what we've seen is the situation getting worse becoming more and more apparent and so um, under number two, uh, sorry, under number four, um, it is good that there's a new approach that the staff uh, are looking at and I think that can give us an, an opportunity to really understand what we're doing mm. and if we need to do more at that, that time then I think we should be really open to providing more enforcement staff, providing more monitoring, who knows, but let's hear from staff over what they need to address that issue, because clearly our community are concerned, uh, as are a number of uh, councillors, I, I would presume. So it's an important issue. It was raised previously. We're several months down the track and it's getting worse. Let's do something about it. Um, the first resolution is really just asking, again, for, for that report to come back to us around changing, how we could change the parameters of SKIRT to align. So we get one chance to spend money with SKIRT we get one chance to fix our infrastructure, and I cannot see the sense in spending money two or three times on the same bit of pipe, the same bit of road, if we want to get a better environmental outcome, or if we want to do something actually just slightly different that gets a better environmental outcome for the same cost. At the moment, we're seeing less for light being delivered. We're seeing areas that flood that don't appear to be taken into account in terms of the repairs that are going on and we're losing opportunities, and it is costing us millions and millions of dollars which we do not have. So this is really critical, and you will all be getting start work notices from Skirt that, that are coming in on a daily basis. Uh, Manchester Street, for example, the one we've just approved earlier, uh, as I understand, there's no request in that tender to consider the stormwater network. So we're fixing roads, not looking at what's underneath, and not looking at the stormwater impacts. That has to change. And I think the sooner we get that report, the better we'll be. There's a few other things in there. Sewerage overflows. I'm sure the Environment Committee is concerned about that. Having a report around you know, what's happening there. That is probably one target that we could have, that we could measure, that would be um, something to look at in terms of making progress or not. And then the second point is from staff. Second resolution is our council uh, surface water strategies. And, and staff have said this is one of the key differences with Skirt's approach, so I think it's really important. Um, I, I just in terms of the staff resolutions, um, the second one around the regular reporting to the recovery strategy, I did want to flag that um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm happy for the report on a quarterly basis going there, but I do think there's a time lag, and I hmm. think we need to actually get this report in front of the council, as well as that committee having it, so I just wanted to signal that maybe we could just amend that one slightly to... Um, ask that we get the reports at the same time as that committee so that we can all actually see what's happening. Thank you. Yep. Um, is there, a, is there a, um, a recommendation that needs to be adjusted in that regard? Can you scroll up? Oh, I see. Um, because I, I did speak to Chrissy Williams in the break and she did indicate that she will be providing the um, report to staff as early as she can in that sequence so that 
it can come to us much more quickly than it does now. This is the question of how does that recovery strategy committee report to us, given that that's got wider representation, um, particularly from Sarah and from government. Yeah, but that's us. Um, that's, that's internal. I mean, there are three of us who sit on there, um, four of us. No, and and, and we've, we've already raised the question about okay. how we bring reports from that um, advisory committee um, back to council. So, and um, th I'm thinking that the way that we might do this is to introduce a, um, as we have a chief executive's report, a mayoral report, and um, all of those meetings that, that I've uh, uh, am involved in, or other elected members are involved in, on behalf of the council as a whole, um, could report back through that mechanism. So, what I was trying to understand is, if that committee has recommendations for things to be done differently or in response to emerging issues, what is the process for them coming in front of us? No, 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 no. We are decisions. representatives of the council on it, and so we either seek advice from um, from colleagues. Um, or we come back to council if there are issues. But at this stage, there aren't issues that are anything other than us representing the council's position um, when, we, when we feed into them. So, for example, we were feeding into the um, Recovery Strategy Advisory Committee on the um, uh, a residential red zone, and um, we advised you know, the position that we had on that, and they... Um, that was pretty much endorsed by everyone else. Yeah. And yeah, there was one um, just additional resolution in here, which I didn't see, but it was just around the flat water facility. So number six, just trying to get some advice over, some clarity over time frames, decision making, processes around that flat water facility, because yeah. I think it would be good to give some clarity around just how that process is, is, is panning out. Should it be from Sarah or Sarah and staff? Because we've got staff involved in that as well. It should be from Sarah. From Sarah? OK. All right. So I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much. And thank you. I do appreciate all the effort that went into that.